Hey everyone, it's me, Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria, and today I want to talk with you a little bit about some uh, misconceptions most beginners uh, have about trading on the markets and also why people get scammed. So let's go first with the misconceptions. Now, the first misconception a lot of people have about trading on the financial markets or any type of market for that matters is that this is some get rich quick scheme. I'm sorry to break it to you guys, but it's not. Uh, if you are looking at trading that way, you're just gambling so you can just go and bet on some football events or other sports events or esport events, doesn't matter. Uh, this is not gambling. Uh, trading on the markets is like any other investment so for example if you want to put your money in a business or you want to invest them in the bank and uh, get an interest rate on your deposit trading has to be uh, considered as such it is an investment and uh, the idea behind it is that it gives you an alternative to in investment uh, as a deposit in the bank. Why? Because in trading it's a bit more riskier of course but it can yield you a higher profit uh, for the whole year. So most of the world banks give an interest rate on deposits between 3 to 10 percent. Trading if uh, of course done correctly can yield you 20, 30, 40 percent even more depends on how good you are. Now, for example, in 2017, I managed to do a 37% profit. Uh, in 2018, I did around six, but I had around three or four months uh, in which I haven't traded at all. I had some uh, other things to do, but still, even with those 6%, uh, it would be the same as keeping my money in the bank. But uh, let's say 2017, the 37%, nothing can yield me that profit, uh, especially not interest rate in the banks for my deposit. So I believe it's a lot better to take a riskier approach as long as it, uh, it is taken professionally than to keep my money in the bank and just uh, have like 4 or 5% interest rate. The second most common misconception is that you can invest let's say a hundred dollars and turn them into a million or a few millions or for that matter even one hundred thousand dollars. Now in theory this is uh, possible of course but for a very very long period of time you need years of trading, you, you need to be very strict on your risk management and you need to have tons of luck believe me. So sorry guys but turning a hundred dollars into a million is almost quite too impossible. Uh, you see those people that make a lot of money via trading, but money goes where the money are. So in order to make a lot of money, you need to have a lot of money. Uh, as I said, uh, if you yield a 30% or 40% on your investment, you can make the math. If you have a hundred dollars, you'll make 30 to 40 dollars the first year alone. Now, but if you have 10K, you'll make three to 400, three to 4,000 dollars. If you have 100K dollars, you'll make 30 to 40,000 dollars. So, if you have a lot of money, you can make a lot of money. If you have a very small, small amount, you need a lot of time. It's not impossible, of course, to reach that goal but it will take you a few years to get there. Only if you trade professionally and if you have a very strict risk management and very good strategy. So don't put your 10 bucks saved or 50 bucks or 100 bucks in a broker because that's just easy money for the other traders. And I know a lot of professional traders won't uh, like me for that because basically what I'm telling you is don't give your money to them because they have a huge bankroll, they have a very strict risk management, a very good strategy and you're just a beginner, you're going with your $100 thinking that you can make a few thousands in like a month or two but uh, 
most often than not you will lose those hundred dollars and they will go to uh, people that are trading professionally so my advice to you keep that a hundred bucks keep saving for bankroll and in the meantime use the free time to study to learn uh, forex or training at all is not hard but at the same time it is not easy and uh, I advise you to practice a lot to read everything you can find watch YouTube videos and try to gather the most important data from everything you see and everything you learn actually pile it up create a strategy and start testing your strategy uh, don't get uh, too cocky about it if you like win for a week or two or three you need at least one year of training on demo uh, so you can verify that this strategy is actually profitable and after that you can invest your money and start using that strategy and start building your bankroll but in that year you can use it both uh, for learning for uh, optimizing your strategy for testing it change a few things uh, learning a lot more about risk management because it is one of the most important things in trading and in the meantime save more money so instead of a hundred bucks you at the end of the year let's say you have a thousand which is a lot better investment to start and an investment that with a good and profitable strategy will take you somewhere now let's say you want to be an investor not a trader so let's assume you have some money saved up they are sitting there in your bank the bank is giving you four or five percent of interest rate but you want more even though there is some risk to it so you decide that uh, since you don't have the time to become a trader to learn to uh, make a strategy to test it etc what we talked about now you decide that um, it would be a lot better for you to uh, subscribe to some service that offers uh, live signals, uh, trading uh, analysis, etc. And just use someone else uh, to make that 20 or 30% per year, which you are aiming for. And in the meantime, you can focus on your job or uh, if you have a business and just continue making money from two places. That is a great um, choice. I mean, a lot of people are not meant uh, to become traders. It needs a certain mindset. It needs an analytical mind, which um, a lot of people don't have. That doesn't mean they are not smart or they won't understand how to trade on the markets. But, you know, there is people for everything. Like there are artists. I am suck. I suck at drawing a lot and that's why there are artists and when i need something to be drawn i contact an artist i pay him and he does the job it's basically the same you contact a trader you invest in him and he gives you uh, profits but uh, this is the spot where a lot of uh, especially new investors so to say uh, get scammed they find someone that is uh, promising huge results 100% per month 200% per month this is fucking not possible trust me I've been a trader for over three years now and I still haven't seen anyone giving uh, that much of return uh, especially on a monthly basis on a yearly basis 100% per it's not impossible theoretically it can be reached with a bit higher risk so for example um, I did 37% as I said in 2017 but that is with an average of 1.2 1.3 uh, percentage risk of my bankroll so if I invested on all of my trades an average of let's say 5% which is a bit higher actually it's a lot higher uh, I would have made about four times or three times more than uh, what I made so I would have made hundred percent for that year so that is possible but for a month it should be it will be connected with 
a lot of risk and uh, most of the times this will not work out in the long term and as an investor you should aim for profits in the long term even if it's 30 percent if you get a steady uh, income of 30 percent each year on your investment i think that's pretty good for me so how not to get scammed now this is a very uh, hard topic but the most important thing is to uh, do a background check on the people uh, you want to invest or you want to buy their service so uh, a lot of companies i am actually in about five telegram channels where they uh, share live signals for free uh, those channels have above 1500 people in them subscribers now i don't know how much of them are fake of course but that's a lot of people and uh, in order to find out if their strategy is profitable so i can sign up for their vip program which is basically the the real signals a lot more signals and uh, better signals hopefully uh, they need to sell it to me so they sell it to me with their free signals and uh, in order to find out if uh, they are actually profitable and their strategy is profitable i have to go back through all the signals they posted for doesn't matter what time since the telegram channel is created so it's if it's one year one year of signups if it's two years two years if it's two months two months although uh, those telegram channels that are created uh, within two months um, the probability of them being scammers is a lot higher uh, because they don't have uh, a lot of trades and um, you know they can be lucky for two months that doesn't mean they're profitable you need at least one year of experience and one year of uh, database of trades uh, in order to say okay this strategy is um, is profitable and i can actually make money out of it so the first thing uh, you can do to avoid being scammed is to uh, make a background check on all those trades that have been posted and then you can invest in their service uh, so buying signals or uh, buying analysis and signals etc etc but a lot of, of you will say okay so you're a professional trader you are making money out of it why do you want money from me uh, in order to give me those signals why don't give it to me for free i mean it doesn't matter for you you're making money i agree with you but we are traders we trade especially me i trade the uh, currency market so basically i make money by trading money and our mindset is set like that to always look for opportunities and to always look for money that is why uh, professional traders do not um, give anything for free because also it took them a lot of time to learn it took them a lot of time to develop that strategy to make it profitable maybe even it uh, cost them a lot of money because uh, all uh, professional traders made a few mistakes and uh, they blew up a few accounts probably but we fucking work with money i mean if you want our service you have to give us money of course we will make you a lot more than what you give us but still you have to give us some and that is what uh, that is how professional traders think and that is why they want money for their service uh, most of the time especially if you find a good trader uh, their service is worth it the money so if you pay a hundred bucks be sure that he'll make you a lot more than that so do a background check before investing in someone and you'll be all right you will not get scammed so those are pretty much my advices to you guys on uh, how to avoid some misconceptions uh, which is extremely important because otherwise you get into a magic circle where you only lose 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 your money and you will never become a trader and uh, if you don't want to be a trader uh, what to do and how to do it in order to become an investor and not get scammed so this is it from me for today i hope my advices were helpful to you and i wish you good luck